we have this model in which we help our clients understand how they're going to go through the journey of AI. Uh, it starts with the creating AI, and that's probably not something that they're going to do. Adapting AI that was created by somebody like an AWS with SageMaker exposing a lot of capabilities, and then consuming AI. And we've been uh, super excited on all the work that we've done with AWS in order to develop modern applications that leverage the power of AI and SageMaker in the background to enable organizations to really deploy new capabilities to their consumers, whether it's internal or external, and really accelerate their digital transformation through that effort. Creating AI requires uh, huge swaths of data. Some of the models are in the trillions and trillions of data points. All of those data points have to be curated, manicured, uh, and cleansed, and all, all sorts of stuff. That involves data scientists, data architects, data engineers, and a vast army of resources in terms of compute and networking and storage and all that other stuff. There are two ways I really think about adaptation um, as we think about the models basically taking your knowledge base or knowledge about your environment and then using that as part of augmenting your prompts. So giving it knowledge, helping it to respond. The second part of adaptation is really about if you want to train the model to do something new or different, a new task, there's something called fine tuning. So we use fine tuning to be able to adjust the parameters of the model to be able to learn those new tasks. On the consumption side, when we think about it, it's using, say, prompt engineering or chatting with your data is really a primary way for us to think about consuming AI. So what we're seeing with customers is effectively they're using this whole consumption side of the large language models. And so they want to interact with the large language model. They don't really have a lot of um, need to fine tune them or to even create their own. But what they do want to do is use their own internal data. So in working with AWS, one of the ways that we work with customers is we help them to identify how they can create um, large language model environments so that they can actually use their own data to be able to drive business operations. We're looking at things like, how do I create competitive advantage? How do I increase the productivity of my workforce? Or how do I teach my staff to be able to do things more effectively by learning and using my internal data? So when we start working with a customer, especially with AWS, we talk about the ability to understand what the problem is, how to measure efficacy as we start going through the process, and then talk about the simplicity of using the cloud to be able to do that with PaaS style services. So with AWS, it's actually simpler to deploy, manage, and maintain.